So today is a first alert weather day. We have the potential of storms. We've already seen one down towards Manning that has since moved into Williamsburg County. Still a warning there in Williamsburg County until 645. A lot of lightning associated with this. Even some hail is a possibility with this storm around Lane and just south of King Street getting in on some of that heavier rain south of Greeleyville as well. Now as far as the hail goes, it's just south and west of Greeleyville. We got a brand new update right there, so let's that's good news. Let's see exactly how big the hail is right here. About almost an inch in diameter there, uh, just south of Greeleyville. And this storm is moving east at around 20 miles per hour. Also, Bishopville, we've got a downpour over your region. No lightning detected. That's not to say there won't be any lightning. So if you do hear that thunder, make sure you're headed indoors. But uh, no warning or anything for Bishopville, but still some heavier rain there in Lee County. Now, here's a wider shot of what's going on. We've got clouds filtering in from the west, so you're going to see the clouds increasing throughout this evening. All these showers and storms, just mainly just light rain up in Greenville County. But notice all this activity here that's moving towards Athens. That's what we're most concerned about as this uh, makes its way down to the south and east. It could bring winds in upwards of 60 miles per hour. And the Storm Prediction Center is looking at this region right here for a possible watch. So they're thinking about issuing a watch for the folks in Georgia and just south of Orangeburg County. So just outside our, view, our viewing area, which is really good news for us. But I don't want you to let the your guard down just yet, just in case we see some of these storms pop up because we have a lot of uh, instability in our atmosphere. And this upper level support could bring a few storms even around 7 o'clock here to the region. Because look at this, we're at 95 degrees currently in Columbia and Lexington, 93 in Sumter, 94 around St. Matthews. And it feels like 107 when you factor in the humidity 106 in Sumter and 103 around Camden. It's going to be hot and humid tomorrow. 96 for our temperature is going to feel like 104. So very hot. It's all this west wind that we've got that we're kind of tapping into all that heat from Texas and out west. It's being brought to us tomorrow. So mid 90s, 30 percent chance of some showers and storms. Now this cold front passes through, stalls out and helps dry us up a little bit by the afternoon. But Saturday morning, 40% chance of some rain showers, and then it looks a little better by the afternoon. And then another little low pressure system kicks over Sunday, a weak disturbance, 30% chance of some storms with temperatures right around 90 degrees. So here's the future cast. It's not showing any of that activity from up north actually reaching us. So good news there, but uh, still I want to make sure that everybody's aware that we could see some active, some showers and storms from it. So don't let your guard down just yet. 20 to 30% chance for your Friday. This is Friday night into Saturday morning. There's that better chance of rain in the morning hours and then by the afternoon it dries up. So the weekend we've got Friday 30% chance, Saturday 40% chance and Sunday 30% chance of some rain and storms. Here's the 10 day forecast. Mostly cloudy skies Friday, Saturday 89 degrees, low 90 Sunday and Monday 92 Tuesday, Wednesday 20% chance of rain and storms Thursday.